Oh, wow. That is much faster. That's like what? 200, 150, 200 megabits extra. So I want to run some speed tests using PPPoE on this uh, beta PFSense, specifically 2.8 beta. This is the latest build as of May 10th this year, 2025. I don't have this new PPPoE implementation enabled yet. The one interface of this AP1, PC Engine AP1, has a public IP address, so there is no double netting here. Do keep in mind that the CPU usage on the web interface is not updated as quickly as the two cores on the HTOP console right here. And uh, let's run the test. Interesting, I'm getting only one core is maxed out in my previous tests. Oh, there you go. Now both cores are maxed out. So about 300 megabits down. Ping is low, three milliseconds right now. Usually it's two milliseconds. It could be even lower depending on the speed test server you're pinging to. Upload is usually much higher than download when it comes to PPPoE. Let's run another test. We need three tests at least here. Yeah, it's still 300 for the download. And I don't have any packages on the system that will affect the speed test. So I'm not doing any packet inspection here. I'm just running speed test. And a lot of, basically the whole PFSense is all stock settings. Or default settings, I should be saying. Oh, look at that, 500 almost. You know what, it doesn't really make sense to monitor the CPU usage when you have it right there. Let's run another one. I can't find that option. Okay, so let's run a few more speed tests. Monitor the graph this time. So pretty much what I'm seeing, the numbers are consistent. They're all the same. Um, no matter how many times you run it. So it's about 330 megabits down by I'll say 450 megabits up. So now I'm gonna enable this new PPPoE implementation. I'm gonna save the settings or the configuration and you have to restart right away to load that new backend into kernel. The next morning. Okay, so the new PPPoE implementation has been enabled. And now on top I have my old test results when I run the speed test with an older PPPoE implementation. Now let's run it again, this time with newer. And see what we get oh wow 
that is match faster. That's like what? 200, 150, 200 megabits extra? Megabits per second extra. Yeah, that is much faster. Kind of dipped down a little bit here. Oh, wow. That is that is dramatically faster. Uh, I'm impressed. Yeah, so yeah, this new if underscore PPPOE makes a big difference when it comes to performance. My only question, how stable is this going to be with different ISPs and how compatible it is. That's the two concerns I have, but so far it's working fine with Bell Fiber here in Ontario, specifically in GTA. No problem so far. I should really test this on a three gigabit per second uh, package with much faster pfSense box or computer or router whatever you want to label it or call it but yeah this is much faster that's it it's dipping here a little bit that's interesting hmm. but yeah i think we're definitely going to be I think we're definitely going to be enabling this for lots of our customers after it passes our internal testing. 80 minutes later. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.